order to get the weak blood shards, you're going to want to create a bound sword. In order to create a bound sword, you're going to want the following materials. You're going to want 7 diamond, 35 obsidian, 3 buckets, 2 glass, 28 stone, 1 stick, 9 lapis lazuli, 1 emerald, 1 magma cream, 1 gas tier, and of course your magician's blood orb. They're used in this manner, and I will show you right now. Okay, you're going to want to create 28 ritual stones. So those are made with obsidian and reinforced slate with your Magician's Blood Orb in the middle. You're also going to want to make at least one Master Ritual Stone. Now these Ritual Stones are included in the 28 I just mentioned, so you put them in there and your obsidian with your Magician's Blood Orb in the middle, and that'll make you your Master Ritual Stone. You're also going to want to make this handy device, which is a Ritual Diviner. And in order to make that, you're going to want to make these four inscription tools, which I'll explain in a moment four diamonds, and one emerald. Now, the inscription tools are as follows. Obsidian, placed in a blood altar, will become an inscription tool of earth. Water, it is a lapis lazuli block used. So you take those nine lapis lazuli, you make them into a block, throw it into your blood altar. For the fire, you're looking at a magma cream. You throw that in, it'll become the inscription tool of fire. And for air, you're looking at the gas tier. Put the gas tier in the blood altar, it will create the inscription tool. Now you add those, you create your ritual diviner. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to grab the ritual diviner. So I'm going to show you how to use that in just a moment. You're also going to want to make a weak activation sigil. And in order to create that, you're going to want to make a lava crystal. In order to make a lava crystal, you're going to want three lava buckets, two pieces of glass, your obsidian diamond with your magician's blood orb in the middle. That will create a lava crystal. Use that lava crystal inside your blood altar, and you will create a weak activation sigil, which I will also take. Now, in order to create this ritual, you're going to want space enough for a 10 by 10, because it goes 10 or 9 this way, 9 this way. So you're going to want about a 10 by 10, and you're going to want the master ritual stone to be placed down at the 5 by 5 area. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to move aside. I'm going to press down Shift and right click. And as you'll see, it shows you the current ritual, and what you're going to want to find is the Ritual of Binding. Once you've found the Ritual of Binding, remove the Shift key, and then come over here with all of your Ritual Stones in your inventory, and you're going to want to right-click on the Master Ritual Stone. It will automatically place them in, in this order as they are shown here. For speed's sake, I've kept them in that order. So this is what it will look like in the end. Now, the other thing you're going to want is a diamond sword. So you take your two diamond, your one stick, and you make yourself your diamond sword. Now what you do is you come to your master ritual stone, and you use the weak activation sigil. Now, right now, I don't have a proper blood altar, so the blood won't actually happen. So the ritual won't start. But if you have enough blood in your altar close enough, the, it'll say that the, uh, you'll see that the ritual has begun. You're going to want to take the diamond sword and throw it onto the master ritual stone, at which point you'll see all sorts of lightning and all sorts of great neato stuff, and it will eventually become a bound sword. So the diamond sword will turn into a bound sword, and the bound sword has amazing stats. You're looking at uh, plus 12 attack damage and never takes any damage. Not only that, it comes with a, when you shift-click, you can put it away and take it out, and it looks neat. 